Well, I think there's a, a lot going on in our country right now, and this is our uh, time for Americans to uh, vote on who we think our leadership should be and uh, get us in the, in the direction we all, we all need to go. Uh, I voted for uh, Nikki Haley um, just for the fact that I think there needs to be a, a change in direction. You know, there's a lot of, of um, uh, you know, I should say a lot of, uh, you know, uh, separation in our country right now, you know, and that's not how I was raised, you know, raised to take care of each other, uh, regardless of, of what your background is. And so that's why I think, you know, that's why I voted for Nikki. I think I think I think this Republican candidate for president is a is a nightmare. Well, you know, he's he's been in there before, so I you know I think he's gonna probably take revenge this time. I, I do want someone that's level-headed and experienced to be president, and I'm very concerned about Donald Trump as a candidate uh, because I, I feel personally that he did incite uh, an insurrection on January 5th, and I don't get that view from what um, the talking heads or pundits tell me. I saw it with my own eyes, I heard it with my own ears, and I can interpret that for myself. I think Trump is such a terrible leader and leads to better himself than to better his country. Mm -hmm. And so I, I feel like Nikki Haley, even though I'm not a Republican, I think she would do a better job than Trump as in leading this country into a better direction than he can. He, I mean, I'm not going to go into everything about it, but that's what brought me here. Because Biden's going to obviously win the the primary as a Democrat, mm -hmm. and so that's what brought me here today. Is to Election years are always an exciting year. Um, November seems far away, but it'll be here before we know it. Um, I feel like I want to be really hopeful, but it's always a little stressful um, and a little scary. So we'll see what happens. I think the country's changed a lot since he was president. and. Um, living in Tennessee has become a lot harder for me and my rights as a woman and things like that. And so I think that there's, I would hope that the damage just wouldn't be any greater than he's already kind of started. Oh, I'm terribly frustrated with this country. I mean, the fact that we have Biden and Trump to choose from, it's disgraceful.
It's just disgraceful. We don't need two octogenarians in office running for office. There's plenty of other people who are earlier in their careers who could run and do a better job than those two. Very disappointed. Um, I wish there were two better options. Um, honestly, I wish that I hope that Nikki Haley pulls it off some type of way um, because I do think the Republican Party needs some sort of reform. I don't think the way that Trump's carrying the party is is a positive route forward. But it's I'm not going to be surprised when it's Trump and Biden. It hurts my soul to say that I will vote for Joe Biden over Donald Trump. Uh, COVID is a big one. He acted like it wasn't a big deal. My dad died of it for Republican politics. It's just unconscionable. Not to mention all the other revenge problems he's got. He can't seem to admit that he lost an election. And frankly, I don't think he has a direction for the country. Um, I'm going to be voting Democratic. So, uh, even though I know there's a lot of things that I'm not happy with Biden about, but uh, he's, he's a better alternative to, to uh, Donald Trump. Why is that? Uh, because of the policies of Donald Trump in the, in the past uh, regime that he was president, he, uh, there was a lot of turmoil that, uh, he, you know, um, I, I know the first thing that he did when he became president was he did the, uh, the ban. Um, I, I am an immigrant, and so I, I, I think that that's, uh, that's one of the things that I didn't like about Donald Trump. And his rhetoric was just very deci divisive, and, you know, I, I want somebody who would bring the country together. The well, if you, if you go back four years ago, our economy was better. Uh, there was no wars in the world. Uh, we were respected in the world. Right now, we have a war in uh, Ukraine. We have a war in the Middle East. Uh, China does not respect Biden. Actually, he, he, they own him. He, they paid him money. It's coming, it comes out every day now about what they did and how they bought him. So where are we as a country now? We're getting to be a third world country. We need somebody to come back in here, fix the problem, straighten our economy out, and stop these wars and have peace in the world.